Hello, my crafty loving friends. Welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Today we're going to work on some Valentine's hearts made out of cloth and burlap. And I'm going to use my springs, my rusty springs that I found out in the woods here on our property. First, I'm going to and take my lock and key IOD mold and I'm going to put some cornstarch in the mold. I want to make a few keys so that I can set them aside and let them dry while I'm working on my hearts and then I can use them uh, as at my leisure as I decide I want to use them on the hearts. So I'm just taking some of the Daz uh, molding clay. I get that from Oh, probably Amazon, Michaels, probably Hobby Lobby. I'll put a link to Amazon in my description if you're interested. Also to the mold, it's a great mold. I've used this a few times and I love it. It's really, really awesome. I'm just gonna go ahead and push that in and then pop it right out. That cornstarch helps it come out of there, especially those skinny little pieces of the key and there it is great detail on that I love it so I'm going to make three of those just so that I have them and I'm glad that I did because I ended up getting a little rough with a couple of them later on and I ended up uh, not using all three and uh, they broke on me and that was my fault not not the um, the mold or the keys fault and I I didn't let it dry long enough this is a cloth napkin. It's a burgundy red color. I will put the link down in the description again from Amazon. That's where I got them. I got a package of four or six, can't remember. But I just love the color and I thought, well, you know, this is very um, Valentine's color and also Christmas. So if I don't use them for Valentine's, I'll have them for another holiday. And uh, I just took, did, I'm really good at making hearts, like half hearts. So I thought I would do half a heart and then fold it and then just cut that half a heart so that I could have two, um, two sides to my heart. So there's going to be two here so that I can glue them together and make like a little kind of a, a pillow with them. And that way they're very matched uh, up really well. So this napkin, I don't know if I said, but I, um, I folded it in half and drew out my heart. And then I folded it again to cut it out so that I had those two halves. So there is a little bit of a fold in the middle of my heart so I just took a little water sprayed it on there and then took my iron and went over that to get rid of any wrinkles or the folds and then I'm, I'm going to take go some hot glue uh, you know if you don't want to do hot glue and you want to sew it go right ahead I do have a sewing machine I can sew but this is a lot easier and quicker and it's not something that's going to be used it's just for decor so it's going to sit in this spring so it's not really um going to be handled a lot it's just to look at so if it was like a pillow or something i you know that i would wash a lot i may use either sherbonder for fabric or um stitch it and i probably should have because i made faux stitches you'll see later on and i'm not super happy about it i don't think they came out the greatest but I think my granddaughter my four-year-old granddaughter could have done a better job but I don't know you see what you think but anyway I glued it almost all the way around and I left one side of the heart just a little spot there so I could get my hand in and put some fiber fill in there to puff it up and make it look kind of like a puffy little pillow and then I went ahead and glued up that spot that I left open and then I went around and just made sure if I missed any that I just filled in with glue so that it would stay closed and the little fiber fill wouldn't come out and I did that to both of the the hearts I'm going to decorate these up both different so um, I'll show you how I do that I'm going to take this um, Spanish moss and make a little bit of a I don't know like a little nest and then I'm going to take this 
flower that I made out of twine a long time ago and I found it in my stash and I wanted to put it on this heart, but I'll show you later on how I do it. So um, don't worry about that. I will show you how I make those. And I got that off from somewhere on YouTube. I can't remember. There's a couple different people that um, make them and I just copied them. So it's nothing that I've done myself. So this burlap flower had some lace behind it, which I really like. And so I decided to take some more of the twine and just go around. I just thought it needed more. So I took some twine and went around underneath my flower and then wrapped it around the heart just to give it some more interest. And I thought it would look cute. Mm -hmm. This is the other heart that I cut out and I'm taking a scrap piece of fabric that I had. It's got script on it. It's really pretty fabric. Um, I think I got it from Walmart. So if you're looking for it, that's where I got it from. And uh, here is the key that I got done with clay. And then I'm gonna use this Tim Holtz spray. This is a distressing spray that they sell and I'll put a link in the description from Amazon for that and they have different colors. They have a tea stained and uh, black and I don't know they have all different kinds and I can't remember what this one is but it just basically makes a, it things to look antiqued. I guess maybe that's it, the antique stain. But I uh, sprayed that on that key and then I added some black paint and then brushed it back so that it would just kind of look old aged and uh, kind of like a vintage key. Then I just took some black twine and ran that through the um, hole in the key because when I made it, I just took a skewer and popped a little hole in the top because I knew I'd be hanging it. I have some of these rusty safety pins and the key is a little bit heavy for the little fabric that I put on the front, which actually I don't think I told you I made into a pocket. So the top is open and I just ran that safety pin uh, over the twine so that it would stay. The key would stay because it's kind of pulling it down and uh, just going to take some of these pit berries. I bought a whole roll of pit berries. It's like a garland from Hobby Lobby when I was there last they had a sale on them and I don't remember what it was but I always try to pick them up because pit berries can be a little expensive sometimes so and when I find them at Dollar Tree as well but I don't always see them so I just cut off three little pieces of that and stuck it in my little heart and then I added some Spanish moss in there to just kind of fill it in and make it look a little more rustic I didn't show it, but I actually took a little bit of black paint and went around the outside of the uh, scrap piece of fabric to kind of distress it a little bit. I added some Spanish moss to my spring and added a black twine bow to the front also. I think this heart is my favorite. I'm just using a piece of scrap burlap and I folded it in half. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit of water and go over 
the burlap with my iron to get out any wrinkles or folds that are in it. And I'm gonna again go ahead and do my half a heart. For some reason when I do the whole heart I can't get the other side looking exactly the same. So I do the half a heart and then I fold it right in half just like this and then I cut it, uh, cut the heart, half a heart out and when I unfold it it's a whole heart and it pretty much matches. And, uh, and I actually have two so that I can do the pillow like I did before or it looks kind of like a pillow. And um, I think this works out really well. And I love this burlap one because you can distress the edges and just kind of pull pull the, the strings out and it just makes it look more rustic. So I don't know, I just like this one better. So again, I'm just gluing the edges. I could stitch it if I wanted to, but gluing it's gonna be just fine. I'm going to use some distressing spray on it to make it look a little bit darker and aged. And I show you here how half of it I sprayed and the other half I didn't, so what it looks like. And I do go over it a few different times, and the closer you get, the smaller of a spray it is and the darker. So I kind of did some up close and some far away, and as it dries it kind of fades out a little bit. So right here it looks really strong, but uh, it will fade out and not look so strong in spots. But I really like how it looks, it's pretty cool. And I did it without the stuffing in there because I didn't want that to get so wet that um, it would take a lot to dry, so. So I'm just gonna go ahead and glue this up using my scissors because that glue gets really hot and it comes through that burlap really easily. And I have this doily it's a piece of a doily, actually. Again, I got these from Amazon. I'll put the link down in the description if you're interested. It comes looking just like that, and I thought, oh, I could take those individual ones and cut them apart. So they come with eight, so, uh, I'm sorry, seven. And um, I just put one on my heart, cut it out, and then I'm just gonna put some Spanish moss over the top of that. I'm just going to kind of layer a bunch of different things over the top. And I got a little bit much on there, so I'm going to take it off. I still want to see, uh, you know, the white or the off-white underneath of it, so. And here's some black twine again, and I'm going to show you how I make those twine um, flowers. So I go around, depending on the size you want, you're going to go... Um, you're gonna however many fingers you use. I use three and then spaced out one of my fingers a little bit from it so it's kind of a bigger bow. You can go as big as you want or I uh, sorry not fl not bow but flower. Uh, you can go as big as you want or as small as you want with these and I make three so I just um, spaced out my fingers here and went around about seven times. You trim it and then you trim a piece to cut uh, off so that you can uh, tie it in the middle and then just the loops that you have are going to be like your petals so I just take it and I spread them out and then I kind of offset it off from the first one that I make just a little bit and then put it on there and then I just did another one so there's all three of them glued together I didn't show you the second one that I did and it looks just like a little flower and I'm gonna glue that onto the top of my doily and my Spanish moss. I got a whole bag of lace from a yard sale last year, so I cut a couple pieces off out of that bag and I'm just gonna spray it with some of this antiquing spray or distressing spray and make it a little more yellow, uh, just look a little more aged. I'm gonna pop that over the top of my flower and then I have this really cute rose that I got from a garland that I've had kicking around for a long time. Don't even remember where I got it. And then I'm just going to take some green leaves from that and stick those in as well. Just trying to add layers and interest to my little heart. There we go. Just going to get that glued in. I'm going to 
take a permanent marker and go along the edges and make some little lines to make it look like it's been stitched. For some reason, I think it looks really good on this burlap. I just didn't like it on the linen that I used it on. I don't know. I don't really know why, but I think it looks really good on this one. So I just go all the way around with that. And then I'm gonna add some Spanish moss to my spring and glue my little heart right in there. And this is what it looks like. Mm -hmm. I hope you enjoyed my little project today. It was fun putting these hearts together and showing you how I did it. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and have a great day.